Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. So I hope that all of you are doing well and doing great and very excited to learn new things and uh, dive in more detail about Power BI today. So before we start with anything, let me introduce myself. My name is Deepak. I have 15 plus years of experience and uh, I have also certain patents on my name. Along with that, I have designed, developed and implemented solutions for various organizations. So let's get started and uh, let's take a look at, at our agenda today. So this is basically is our agenda. Today we will talk about why you should choose Power BI. You know, what is the benefit of it? Like why we should choose Power BI? And uh, after that, we will talk about what exactly is Power BI, the different components that you have, um, the architecture of Power BI and the building blocks of the Power BI. So um, let's get started. Now let's dive in more detail. So let's start basically with our first topic that why we need BI, which is basically why we need business intelligence. So first is boost productivity. So basically, uh, you know, with the help of uh, BI, you can pull the data and you can create the reports at the click of a button. Um, next basically is to gain sales and market intelligence. So uh, it basically helps you in winning new customers to servicing and tracking existing customers. Um, next one basically you have is result go, uh, closer to established goal. Basically with BI, you can keep track of information and you can set your, uh, you know, goals accordingly. So you can define the entire agenda and according to that, you can even set up your goals as well. The next one we have is gain insight into consumer behavior. So which basically means that you can boost your ability to analyze the current uh, consumer buying trends. So organization can develop products on consumption. Next is basically ROI. So return on investment basically helps you to, you know, create a better strategic awareness, uh, faster reporting. You can see that you are going in profit, you're going in loss. So what exactly is the scope of your product? Now, how many people have uh, basically purchased just to get the entire forecast. So you can uh, easily understand your entire, uh, I would say, future of your product or any of the, you know, stuff that you are, uh, trying to you know get the attention of the market the last one basically is to turn data into actionable information so basically with the business intelligence this is an analytic tool that gives you the insight you need to make successful strategic plan for your organization now these are the couple of reasons from which we can understand we can say that you know why we need the power bi so moving on now why power bi so uh, there are a couple of uh, benefits of Power BI. First is machine learning, uh, wherein uh, you can easily, uh, you know, define the algorithm, define the pattern, and accordingly you can basically, you know, decide that how you want to make a move forward. Even you can uh, basically integrate with AI ML as well. It supports that integration. There are the right APIs available for this as well. Next is the mobility. So basically, uh, if you want to migrate your, uh, you know, entire data, the code from one platform to another, it supports that as well. Third one is advanced analytics. So where it can uh, show you the advanced uh, graphics as well. You uh, you know, like the people in the management want to see the, uh, you know, pie charts and everything. So you can easily see that, you know, uh, uh, your company is going in profit or loss. So you, you want to get the real time analytics data. You can easily get it. Next is a Cortana integration. So you can basically do the, you can program and you can directly integrate with Cortana on the Microsoft systems as well. Next is lower upfront cost. There is no need to pay high maintenance cost. Uh, even the upfront cost as well is very low. And next is APIs for integration. You have a direct APIs, which I like I said, you know, for AI, ML, different technologies, different tools, your direct APIs for it. Next one basically is the customization. So you can make the customization as per your requirement. Last basically is the, uh, you know, user friendly. So it's very uh, user friendly at the same time. You are going to get, uh, you know, various uh, benefits that like you can have the GUI, CLI and accordingly you can uh, customize as per your requirement. Now let's take a look at why Power BI. So Power BI basically is a free, free, free business intelligence cloud service by Microsoft. It provides a non-technical business users with certain tools like aggregating, um, sharing data, visualizing, analyzing. So you can aggregate the data from various sources. You can share the data between different platforms. You can visualize, you can basically create the, you know, the graphical user interface. You can create the pie charts. You can create the different, uh, you know, visualization easily. At the same time, you can see analyze as well, like what is the trend that your data is increasing or decreasing. You know, all that kind of thing you can also uh, easily, you know, analyze as well. Now let's talk about the different users of Power BI. 
So they are different users of Power BI, like IT professional, developers, business analysts, subject matter experts. Different different people in different different uh, domain can get various benefits from Power BI. And moving on to the components, um, there are various po components that we basically have for Power BI. Coming to the first one, uh, which is basically you know Power Query. So with the help of Power Query, you can search, access, and transform public and internal data sources with Power Query very easily. Next, basically, is the Power Pivot. So uh, basically, you can easily have easy data modeling in memory analytics with Power Pivot. Next, we have is basically Power View. So wherein you can easily analyze, visualize, and display data as an interactive data visualization tool. Next, you basically have is the Power Map. So which basically brings data to life with interactive visualization. So you can have a real-time visualization with the help of which you can easily visualize your data. Now we have, uh, you know, more four components here. Next is Power BI service. So with the help of Power BI service, you can basically share data views, uh, you know, work, workbook refreshable from your on-premise and cloud-based uh, data sources. Your data sources can be different. You can basically combine from various sources. Next is Power BI Q&A, wherein you can ask questions and you can get immediate answers with NLQ. NLQ basically is natural language query. Next is your DMG, which is data management gateway with the help of which you can have periodic data refreshers. You can expose tables and views as all data feed to external, external consumers. Next, basically, the data catalog. So you can have metadata for facilitated search functionality. User can easily discover and reuse the queries. So, guys, uh, this uh, the components that you you know I explained right now of Power BI. Each and every component in itself is a different world. So it is not like that um, your components, if you're talking about, uh, you know, like uh, this is a very small domain, small world. No, each and every component in itself is a different world, wherein uh, for each specific component, I can go in extreme detail and uh, we can basically have, you know, a lot more discussion along with that. We can also have the practical uh, demonstrations of it. So it's like a lot of learning that we basically have in this. So. We have to get in more detail about each and every component. However, we cannot because this is just a webinar, the glimpse of it. So that's why we are just telling you the high level of it. Otherwise, you're going to enroll for the course. For each and every component, we are going to dive in more detail. In addition to that, we are also going to do certain uh, practicals, hands-on. So having the only theoretical knowledge is not sufficient, but this is a webinar. So that's why uh, we are just, uh, you know, uh, talking about at a very high level. Now, moving on uh, the social learning editor. So if you are highly interested to dive in more detail about each and every component, so you want to enroll for the course, this is the structure learning for Edureka, uh, the way it's going to look like. So basically in the first class, we will start with introduction to Power BI. What exactly is Power BI with perspective hands-on on it. Then we will talk about Power BI desktop and data uh, transformation with hands-on on it. Then in the third class, we will talk about data analysis expressions with hands-on on it. Then we will talk about data visualization with hands on on it. In the next class, we will talk about Power BI service, QA and QG inside with hands on on it. Then in the next class, we will talk about creativity modes, the different way uh, through which we can connect with the perspective hands on on it. Then we will talk about Power BI report servers with the hands on on it. And then after that, in the next class, we will talk about you know how you can use R and Python Power BI with the perspective hands on on it. Then uh, you are going to talk about, you know, uh, advanced, uh, advanced analytics, how you can basically, you know, create the reports and everything with the hands on on it. And then at the end, we are going to have the in-class project, wherein uh, whatever the knowledge that you have gained in the every class, we are going to utilize that knowledge and we are going to dive in more detail about each and every component. So that's basically, uh, it's going to be the social learning, the way it's going to look like. Now let's talk about the key benefits of uh, you know having Power BI. Like what are different benefits of having the Power BI? Let's take a look in detail. Let's start with the first one. So Power BI basically have a pre-built dashboard and reports for popular uh, SaaS solutions. SaaS solution basically means uh, uh, software as a service. So basically it has pre-built dashboard and uh, reports for the popular SaaS solutions. Um, it basically also provide real-time dashboard updates. Like here you see the synchronization icon. So wherein it provides you directly uh, updates of wherever uh, the changes are going to make, you know, it's going to provide you direct updates over there. In addition to that, you know, so in addition to having, um, you know, pre-built uh, dashboards, in addition to have real-time dashboard updates, it's also basically provide you secure live connection to your data sources 
um, you know, for on-premises and in the cloud as well. Next, basically, we have is, um, you know, like uh, it also basically provide you intuitive data exploration using natural query language. And next, also, uh, it basically basically helps you to integrate with uh, familiar Microsoft products and utilize commitment for scale and availability in Azure. And in the last one, basically, you know, it basically provides a fast deployment, hybrid configuration, secure and integration with different uh, IT infrastructure services. Now we got a fair understanding. What are the key benefits of uh, Power BI? You know, the different components of it, different users who use Power BI. What is Power BI? Why is Power BI? Now let's talk about what is the process in Power BI. So basically in this diagram, as you can see in the first phase, what will happen is in the case of Power BI, it will search the data means it's going to find the data in the very first stage. Once it is able to, you know, find the data, then after that, it's going to perform the operations on it, which is known as ETL, wherein it's going to extract, it's going to transform, it's going to, you know, load the relationship. So it's going to filter the data, relevant data. After that, uh, in the third phase, it's going to analyze, it's going to predict, in, in, and it's going to perform the research on it. And in the last phase, it's going to show you the entire result summary and the output of your data. So this is basically the, uh, you know, process of, uh, you know, Power BI. Now, Moving on, talking about the architecture, if we talk about, this is the, you know, the small architecture of Power BI, where you can see, here you have software as a service here as well. So where you can integrate with different platforms, like you talk about, you know, in terms of database as well, you know, you want to use Hadoop, different, different, different uh, you know, technology you can integrate. Now, with the help of AI ML, you can define your own algorithm, your, uh, you know, own code. And accordingly, it's, it's going to take the action on it. Like, for example, uh, I have written the code that automatically whenever the data is going to be updated, it should fetch up the data from there automatically. So you can basically define the code and, uh, you know, and uh, your own algorithm. And whenever any kind of change is going to happen, whenever any kind of update is going to make, you know, that is going to be executed and accordingly, uh, you know, it's going to publish the data. So you can also have your real time updates as well, where it's going to provide your real time updates, where you will be able to see that, you know, whatever the changes have been made, and uh, you know like what kind of changes have been made uh, you know when when the change was made like who made the change even you can have the detailed uh, auditing and detailed reporting as well so it does, does support that as well and with the help of natural language query you can easily integrate with a different platform at a sake of ease like in this case you can see that whether you talk about hadoop you talk about you know excel you talk about the cloud data you you talk about the on premise data as well you can basically easily integrate with that so basically cloud uh, you know you know that cloud basically is a platform where the whole services are hosted by at a different vendor that you can use it uh, for your use there is no need to maintain the infrastructure there is no need to maintain the hardware on premise is something that you are going to maintain your own data center so where you are going to maintain the entire infrastructure you are going to have the central control in your hands now moving on talking about the building blocks of power bi you know, first is visualization. So visualization uh, basically is a visual representation of your data, sometimes which is also called as visuals as well. Next is a data set. So basically uh, it is a collection of data that Power BI uses to create visualization. Third one basically is a report, which is just a collection of visuals from a data set spanning one or more uh, pages. Next one you have is a dashboard, which is basically a single page collection of visuals, which is basically built from the report. And uh, in, next one basically is a tiles, which is a single visualization found in the report or a dashboard. Now, uh, you know, let's talk about visualization a little bit in detail. So visualization is a visual representation of data uh, like chart, graph, color coded map. The goal of visual is to present data in a way that provide context uh, and insight. Now um, you have basically two types of visualization. First is basically simple, which represents significant data. Next is a complex, which basically represent, uh, you know, gradient colored map. Next building block uh, that we have basically is a data set. So moving on to data set, uh, you know, data set is nothing. This is just a collection of your data that uses Power BI to create this visualization that, uh, you know, you can use it for your real time monitoring as well. At the same time, data set can also be, uh, you know, a combination of different sources, which you can filter and combine to provide a unique collection data set. For using power bi so there are two important concepts in data set first is filtering which enables you to focus on the data with which you want to work next is the connector so power bi has built-in connectors that easily connects to the data whether in excel or sql database 
so you can filter it if necessary and bring it to your data set next is basically the reporting so report is nothing this is just a collection of visualization that appear together or one or more pages uh, basically this is used to create many visualization of different pages and you can arrange them as the way you want now, now in this figure you can see a lot of visualization so which appears together um, you know so you can just make the customizations as, as you want you can define your own as well or you can also you know create the way the way you want next basically is the dashboard now talking about the dashboards basically you know dash dashboard is nothing this is just a visual display of information to achieve one or more objective so as you can see here uh, you, you can have the single screen on the single pane if i want i can get all the information or if i want i can segregate it on different different pages like i want to have the pie charts on a different page i want to have graph on a different page i want to have um, you know anytime uh, updates on a different page so you can just uh, segregate the data the way you want next one basically is the tiles so as you can see um, you know this is like the one that i have highlighted is an example of tile so basically this is a, just a single visualization found in the report on the dashboard so this box as you can see this is uh, showing you the individual visual to you now do you know that when you are going to create the report or a dashboard in power bi you can move or arrange the tiles the way you want to present your information so you can basically make the tiles bigger you can make the tiles smaller you can change the width the height uh, you can snuggle them up uh, to other tiles the way you want so if you are not the creator or the owner of the report but it is being shared with you you can interact with it but you know there's no need to change the size of the tiles or uh, you know there's no need to even change like how they are arranged so it depends on your way you want now these are basically the building blocks that we basically have that's it for today so i hope that you have liked the session you have and wishing you all of you a great evening ahead